Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2025-06, including also general improvements. Improvements that have been added since the last release in March 2025, three months ago. Java 24 support is now built in. To use Java 24, make sure that in the Preferences, Java, Install JREs, a Java 24 JDK that has been installed on your system is configured, since Eclipse is shipped with Java 21, the latest version of Java for which long-term support is provided. Java 24 offers new APIs, such as Stream Gatherers for Stream Intermediate Operations, or the new Class File API, as well as new implementations. But it does not introduce new language features. Also, the preview language features are much the same as in Java 23. In the Java editor, extended folding is now enabled by default, providing folding of code blocks within methods. Extended folding can be disabled in the preferences, Java, Editor, Folding. The new Custom Folding Regions option is disabled by default. When enabled, you can define additional folding regions in the source code using specific start and end tags. The folding options can now also be set for each project individually in Project, Properties, Java Editor, Folding, enter your own start and end tags. Voila! The custom folding regions are now based on project-specific start and end tags. The refactoring for inlining a method has been improved. It now also works for methods that are called in a lambda expression or via a method reference. There are two new cleanup functions. In source, cleanup, use a configured profile or use a custom profile and hit configure. In the cleanups dialog, in the tab unnecessary code, tick the checkbox remove unnecessary suppress warnings tokens in order to remove unnecessary suppress warnings. In the Java feature tab, Java 21, there is the new cleanup pattern instance of to switch, which was introduced in the previous and has been improved in the current release. It turns an if statement with multiple else if branches using pattern matching with instance of or a null check into a switch expression. Let's apply the two cleanup functions together. As you can see here, unnecessary suppress warnings are removed and the if statement is turned into a switch expression. That's better to read, isn't it? There are a couple of useful debugging enhancements. In the debug view, the stack can be quite deep. In the view menu, Java Enable Collapse Stack Frames to collapse all stack frames, except those from your code. This will help you to focus more on your code. That's cool, isn't it? In the Variables view, you can now right-click a variable and choose Navigate to Declaration to jump to where the variable is declared. There is a new property for trigger points to activate breakpoints without pausing on the trigger point. Right-click the trigger point Choose Breakpoint Properties and, instead of the pre-selected Suspend thread, choose Continue Execution on Hit.
As you can see, the thread was not suspended at the trigger point, but at the breakpoint that was activated by the trigger point before. In the breakpoints view, trigger points and breakpoints can now be renamed. In the right click menu, choose Label. To restore the default label, enter a blank label. The renaming of breakpoints is a general improvement, also available when debugging other languages than Java in Eclipse. In addition to this, there are more general platform improvements. The Eclipse platform now supports SVG icons in order to display them in the best possible resolution. Most icons are already included as scalable vector graphics rather than bitmaps. On Windows, monitor-specific UI scaling is now enabled by default. It can be disabled in Window, Preferences, General, Appearance. When enabled, each window is displayed using the best resolution of the monitor rather than using the same resolution for all windows, which may be lower. By default, text files will now be opened with a generic code editor instead of the plain text editor. The same applies to new untitled text files. In contrast to the plain text editor, the generic code editor highlights all occurrences of the currently selected word which can be disabled via the toggle highlight icon. Or action. It also provides some folding based on the indentation. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2025. Thanks for watching and happy coding!